in year 2000, 2000 we started negoci negotiating with the Nairobi City Council at that time, but now it's Nairobi County. And uh, there was a positive response from the Nairobi City Council. They told us to go and uh, organize ourselves, both structure owners and tenants. From there, we started thinking when the city council will release the lad to the community, what, what will we do with the lad? Where will we get money to construct houses? That was year 2000, when we started negotiating with the city council. Through the support of Nairobi University and that time, Pamoja Trust, uh, we started dreaming how the settlement will be and what a kind of a house we'll get. The dreaming was, we, we started enumerating our, uh, the number of people living in this settlement. The dream was how, how we'll settle the, the, the 370 people in this settlement. So the dreaming was how will we accommodate everybody because the, the slums the, where we stayed was 10 by 10 and we need a permanent house with all facilities, that is water and toilet and electricity for the ten, and, 10 by 10. So the dreaming was how can we fit to the, this piece of land without making other people move out of the, the settlement. That time we, we started saving, saving a small amount of money in order to support ourselves in all this process. After dreaming and support, uh, being supported by Nairobi University and Pamoja Trust, we came up with a plan which we took to the Nairobi City Council and we started a model house that was year 2001. And uh, that year 2001, June, that's the time we launched our model house. With that time, we have a mayor of an Alombi city council called Joa Ketch. And uh, the house was uh, a model where we, it's a kind of a highlight where we, we came up with a ground, where we have a ground, like you have seen in this settlement. Where the ground, we have a sitting room, first bedroom, then the second bedroom. That was a crude model, and uh, everybody appreciated the, 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 the model. So we came to, to do it practically on the ground. So we thought to start with five units. So we started negotiating with the owners, the structure owners who were led to demolish their structures. After that, we have a lot of problems that time. When we started thinking on how to demolish, that's the, then the, a lot of people interfered. The area administration, the area DU, they came and thought they can stop the project. But through the support of Nairobi City Council, they gave us letter to continue on doing what we can do on the ground, and they will approve. From there, we started demolishing five units. When people saw we have demolished and we have started constructing, more, more people agreed to, to demolish their structures. And we started with the first site of 34 units. That was year 2003 to year 2005. So 2005 we completed the, the first 34 units. After that, now, more all people in this settlement joined the, 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 the group. So we started thinking on how we can continue constructing. 2006-2007, we, we have another site for 28 families, 28 units. So we constructed just only with one year for the 28 families. Because the first site was a, we, we got problem because it's it was like a training process. People think we, we educated people on how to construct, on how to do a lot of work for construction, and it was a voluntary job.
job. So the community organized themselves. We just paid skilled labor. So uh, unskilled was provided by the community. Second site was 2006-2007. 28 families got houses. At that time, I benefited in second phase. The next time, we thought about the third site. That was year 2008, 2009. This is the time uh, Kabimocho got a lot of problem in, inside politics. And uh, we constructed uh, 24 units, which at the end was very hard to give to the, to the members. Because most of people were ready to get houses. The houses are 24. And, uh, Beneficiary are more than 24. So, on how to choose who will get, who will, know, who will wait, was a problem. And this group can be motor into two groups. And that time, the politics of Kabimoto changed. We stayed for a whole year without uh, issuing the 24 units. Then we came to agree and uh, we got the, the beneficiary for the site 3 and they, have, they got their houses. From there, a lot of problems came to Kambimoto. People decided, I want a house, I want a house. And at the time, most of people wanted to construct for themselves. So site four, the system of construction changed. People started constructing for their own house using the same, same drawing. That's why you see site four, we have complete unit, others are not complete depending on the on, on the, the, the owner. So now we are happy as Kabimoto because we have con uh, completed constructing site one. This was site one, 142 units. Then we, uh, earlier we, we, when we were planning, we have site one, this is the site one, and we have another site two. 2008, that's the time the, the, we, we got agreement with the city council. We have got a uh, memorandum of understanding in the city council. They will release to the RAD, to the community, and they will take care for the spill of others who will remain. 2008, they, they, they changed their mind and constructed a a council office on our site, on our phase two. That's the time problem arise. And uh, our plan was, was to accommodate 270 families. The, the area where the city council constructed their office was about 70 families. So we lost a site for 70 families to the city council. That's the time I was a uh, was secretary of the group. We all officials were arrested by the city council. We were taken to, 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 to police custody because we, we demo, de demonstrated for the construction of the council office. After a lot of more discussion, they stood us the right belong to them. We have no authority to stop their project. Even the community need an office. Then the RAD went to the city council back. The rest, they said they will release to us, but until now they have not done so. So we have got, for the last about 20 years in Kabimoto, we have struggled to reach where we are. It's, it's a hard job, I think, we have young youths, uh, we need to work hard to achieve what we can, we can get and have determination on what we want to do. The best thing is to, to come together. When we come together, we can do a lot. Right now, Kabimoto, most of people have benefited, but still we need to think because we have youth. How can we manage our youth and get more? more land and more houses because to get a house in Nairobi is a problem. I think 
your, it's your high time to think more than uh, we did. I joined Mungano, I was about um, 25 years. Now I'm almost 40 years. So I have stayed in Mungano more than 17 years. I joined as a youth, now I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm old. <laughs>